Mark Lipmer from Q Audio here with in-depth looks at the Q DSLR video kit and the Q sniper kit. The latest small HD camcorders and DSLR cameras are delivering stunning video quality at affordable prices, making it easier to get professional video results, even by accident. This revolution of sorts has also opened up the world of video and audio to a whole new segment of professional photographers, shooters, and aspiring young filmmakers alike. Learning the world of audio can be a daunting task. I've been there. We at Q-Audio fully understand this predicament. It can take years of experience to get really comfortable capturing audio. Q-Audio designed the DSLR video kit and sniper kit to make it easier to get professional audio results with these HD camcorders and DSLR cameras. Check it out. The built-in microphone and audio electronics on most cameras are marginal, and capturing high-quality audio is a whole other art form in itself. You must have high-quality audio to go with that great-looking video. While it has definitely become easier to get great video on the new DSLR cameras, especially in low light, this is not true with getting great sounding audio. For this video, we are focusing on the most commonly recorded audio source, the human voice. Shotgun microphones are designed for directional audio capture to pinpoint the target in front of the mic while effectively rejecting sound from the sides and back. Typically, they are used in run-and-gun situations when mounting a body mic such as a lav or a head-worn mic to capture the voice is not possible. A shotgun mic can be mounted on camera when used in close proximity to the on-screen talent's voice. On wider shots when the camera is further from the subject, a stand or boom pole can be used to ensure that the mic is as close to the target as possible for maximizing audio quality. The Q DSLR video kit is custom designed for camera mount applications, delivering all the accessories needed for professional results in a leather it carry case. The Q sniper kit includes all of the accessories in the DSLR video kit, and for location sound applications, includes the lightweight mini boom pole, a base unit for tabletop or mic stand uses, and a longer cable is substituted for use with the pole. A 3.5 mm to XLR adapter is also included for connecting to professional mic inputs on cameras, recorders, and mixers. Let's take a closer look. At the heart of each kit is the Q Mini Shotgun Microphone. Compact, lightweight, and exceptionally durable, Q Audio's design team endured intensive R&D efforts to deliver this miniaturized shotgun mic, which is extremely travel friendly. The back electric condenser capsule delivers a full frequency response of 30 Hz to 18 kHz and handles SPL levels to 124 dB. The capsule was also especially chosen for its outstanding performance in the small, slimline brass barrel configuration. A deliberate line gradient hypercardioid polar pattern is achieved, which is truly directional, yet wide enough to be forgiving in accommodating even the most demanding location sound applications. To install or replace the batteries in the mini shotgun, grasp the larger end or base of the microphone just above the on-off switch with one hand and the barrel with the other hand and carefully twist off the base while holding the barrel upright. Insert the two AG4 1.5 volt batteries in the base so that the writing on top of the batteries faces up. A picture of the battery orientation is included on the mic for reference. Carefully reposition the barrel and twist it back in place firmly being careful to avoid cross-threading. Battery life is rated to last for up to 100 hours of continuous use, but typically they will run up to 400 hours. 10 packs of batteries are available through any Q Audio retailer, but AG4 1.5 volt batteries can also be found everywhere. Let's mount the mini shotgun on top of a camera. First, attach the shock mount to either of the shoe mounts. Both kits come with the Q run and gun cold shoe as well as a high quality cold shoe with adjustable ball joint head. The run and gun cold shoe is for quick, easy, and lighter weight attachment, 
while the high quality cold shoe with adjustable ball joint head allows for a wider range of adjustment options. With the run and gun cold shoe, start with both threaded wheels screwed all the way down on the shoe. Carefully twist the shock mount on all the way, then unscrew the shock mount a quarter turn back so that it is loose, then tighten the cold shoe adapter wheel while positioning the mic squarely with the shoe. Next, loosen the bottom wheel and slide the shoe on the camera and tighten down onto the camera. Then adjust as necessary for proper positioning. The tilt of the shock mount can be adjusted for fine tuning the positioning of the mic for maximizing audio quality results. The mini shotgun can be inserted into the shock mount and used without the windscreen as the mic handles minor air movement well. But we suggest always using the windscreen. To mount the windscreen in the shock mount, pinch the opened end slightly and feed it through the bands on the shock mount with one hand and pull it halfway through with the other hand. Then insert the microphone into the shock mount and windscreen, pushing it through while holding the windscreen and shock mount in place. The rubber shock absorber can be used between the cold shoe and the mini shock mount for extra insulation against handling noise and resonance. It also effectively extends the position of the mic further from the lens to ensure the mic, windscreen, or wombat fur does not protrude into the frame. Next, attach the 30 centimeter curly cable securely to the mic and 3.5 millimeter connector and reinsert the mic into the shock mount and windscreen. The high quality cold shoe with adjustable ball joint adds on camera flexibility for placement of the mini shotgun. Loosen the twist handle to fully adjust the position of the ball joint and ball joint cover, allowing for 360 degrees of horizontal positioning and up to 90 degrees of vertical positioning. Tighten the screw handle to lock down the position. Avoid over tightening or forcing positioning when tight. Combined with the tilt adjustment of the shock mount, there are virtually an infinite number of positioning possibilities. If the shoe becomes loose even when the handle and wheel thread are tight, it may be necessary to tighten a small Phillips head screw on the bottom of the shoe using a mini Phillips head screwdriver. The windscreen is very efficient in combating light wind up to 10 miles per hour. For heavier winds, mount the Wombat Furry Windjammer by fully opening the Velcro straps and then fitting it over the mic and shock mount and fastening shut all of the Velcro. Let's do a wind test to demonstrate the effectiveness in high wind. All right, we're doing our fan test here. I've got my mini shotgun right aimed at my voice, pointing right there. Let's turn on the fan. We're gonna use our turbo fan, turn it up to high. No windscreen. Checking one, two, three. Now I will add the windscreen. You can hear a considerable difference even just with the windscreen. And now let's add the wind muff. Very good. Just with the wind muff, you can still hear the fan cranking, but no wind noise at all. Just the noise of the fan. We'll turn the fan off. And again, quiet. Let's do that in reverse. Fan on, very light wind sound hitting at a very close speed. Without the wind muff. Without the windscreen. Another standout feature of the Q-Mini shotgun is the flexibility provided by the Q-Compact connection system, allowing for easy cable and connector replacement, as well as opening up a plethora of additional accessory connector and cable options. If you're using a professional camera, digital recorder, or mixer that provides 48-volt phantom power ability, then our optional Q83 connector can be used for balanced, low-impedance operation. The QAD3 also effectively boosts the output of the Q-Mini shotgun by up to 6 dB. 
Be sure to keep a good pair of batteries in the mic even when using a QAD3 with phantom power, as they work together in parallel. The QAD3 will not work without phantom power. Also, the mini shotgun will not work with the QAD3 without the batteries. Also available are connector options for all the popular third-party wireless transmitters, including Shure, Sennheiser, Audio-Technica, AKG, Sony, Electrosonics, and more. The Q Sniper Kit comes with the extremely lightweight mini boom pole, perfect for traveling. In fact, it is one of the lightest, most compact boom poles available, collapsing down to less than 14 inches and fully extending to over 5 feet. As do many of the Q accessories, the Q Mini Boom Pole utilizes a quarter inch 20 thread standard tripod screw mount. The Q Mini Shock Mount and Q Mini Shock Absorber screw onto the Mini Boom Pole. There is also a female quarter inch 20 thread screw hole on the pole bottom. You can attach the Q base unit to use the mini boom pole as a mic stand. You can also attach another Q mini boom pole or other accessories like our optional Q T-bar. The mini shock mount and shock absorber can also attach directly to the Q base for desktop applications. The use of a boom pole gets the mic off the camera and closer to the source, producing better sounding audio in most cases. For one-man setups, the camera can be placed on a tripod while the shooter handles the positioning of the microphone. It is always best to monitor the audio during recording to ensure a good level is achieved without distortion. A set of headphones, like our Q phones, is crucial. Recording audio without monitoring via headphones is like shooting video without a viewfinder or video monitor. Having said that, in some instances, I have shot video without monitoring the audio and got great results. But during an important shoot, I would never risk it. While monitoring audio during booming, you listen carefully and maximize your audio quality with mic positioning and level adjustments. When two or more people are on screen with a one mic audio capture setup, you can point or aim the mic directly at whoever is talking. Take care in staying out of the field of view while maximizing the position of the mic to be as close as possible to the source. Generally as a standard, most set their loudest levels to peak at around minus 12 dB, allowing for plenty of headroom for louder spikes. Others will push their input levels a bit harder to minus 6 dB peaks, depending on the familiarity with the talent and location. For new filmmakers, experimentation and practice is highly recommended. The more you do, the more experience you have to draw on. While an in-depth discussion on using different recorders in different applications is out of the scope of this video, I will say that there are many options that work best depending on your application, what your end result needs to be, and at what budget.